Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running YouTube channel and I'm here today with Pete Rostron from CDAS um, because on my quest to find the perfect trail shoe for doing more ultra running lately, um, I have been told that I need to also look into insoles and socks as well. So Pete, why are insoles and socks so important as well as getting the fit of the running shoe right? <laughs> so so, so the, the fit of the shoe is based on the, the last of the brand. That's how they come up with their research in terms of what is their optimum fit. But the optimum fit is then a generalization. So it, who is that optimum fit? So you'll find that people, yeah, we'll try lots of different brands. We'll get the right fit in the heel, but not in the forefoot. We'll get, not get the, the contact or, over the top of the foot. But one thing no brand is looking at is holding the foot in the shoe via the insole. So things that you found with your running is you're getting uh, problems that could be solved, we think, by the insoles. But the proof will be in <laughs> Excellent. that. Excellent. Well, I have found a good shoe in the Saucony Exodus <clears throat> Ultra 2, no less, and I have been using these Cedas Protect insoles. And I particularly like this squishy blue thing here, <laughs> um, which I'm sure Pete has a yeah. technical name for. But um, yeah, am I doing the right thing and just grab going for an insole? How would I choose from this great array of insoles that we have here? So we have Pacific running, so running insoles, which uh, are going to be quite light and, and support where you need it. So totally different to what we would do in, in a, a walking insole, for example. But what CDAS have identified is Generally, there are three arch types, which will be a low, a mid, and a high. And that's to do with the, with the, the shape of this part of the foot of, of, of the arch. And, and then, basically what we're trying to do with our insoles is fill the gap between the bottom of the shoe and the arch uh, in order to, to control pronation. And why is that important to control pronation? We don't want to stop pronation because it's a natural movement to your foot, which you're going to do a lot when you're running, but we want to add that comfort so your foot over time doesn't get fatigued. And at the same time, it's holding your foot in place. So help uh, stopping the foot from elongating. And therefore, when you're going downhill, your foot's going to start hitting the front and also hold your foot so it stops from spreading. And I think those two are the most key elements what people find for pulling out of races is bruised toes, or they're, they're, they've got blisters on the across the width of the foot. Around. Yeah, yeah, for moving in the shoe. Yeah. Particularly over challenging terrain. I think if you just go for a walk in the park yeah. or a run in the park uh, or on road, it's a flat surface and therefore there's a bit of repetition. But when you come to difficult terrain, which generally will get in a lot of the ultras now, um, yeah, it's important that your foot stays in the shoe. In place. And yeah. so how would I know if I need a low, medium and high? Because there's like three different types so, here. So we do have a special measurer, which we can, we can do, which some of the stores that we, we sell to have. But the one thing you can do uh, is actually look at your foot, pull your toes up and go into what's called a windlass. Uh, and that will again show if you've got a low, a mid or a high. Or one of the simple things is to when you get out of the shower onto a, a, a stone floor, <laughs> hey! Oh, hey, cat! <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, yeah, the one way of, of looking at this is uh, you can do it by getting out when you get out of the shower, just step onto a, a hard surface and see how your foot imprint. If it's a big blob, you've generally got a flat foot. If it's just uh, got the outside of the foot, you've got a high arch. Yeah. But 65% of the people will be a mid. Yeah. Mid arch. So if in doubt, go for a mid yeah. to start with yeah. and see there, if that feels There's only a couple of millimetres between each on, on, on this part, which is yeah. we call the arch arch of the foot. Yeah. Um, I so like yeah. try both of the, the mid and the high and see how yeah. it goes. But I was quite impressed with the uh, the grippiness of the bottom yeah. of these. So you've got so, like a good uh, bit of grip there at the bottom. And then also this side grip around here, which looks like it will keep the foot in place, keep it in place in the shoe. Exactly. Minimize any rubbing. Yeah. So, so the key elements of that are keeping the insole in the shoe um, is one, one part. We've uh, certainly heard a lot of times where insoles come out because people are, mo are moving around. So yeah, by adding a, a grip on, on the uh, on the bottom and also then stopping this twisting out. You want your, your feet, uh, feet super tight in the shoes. So if you've got any movement in there, you, you're going to start feeling that. And then the other element of that is the contact with your foot to, to uh, 
to the insole, you will have a sock in between. And again, what we've introduced now is a system because we have grip yarn, which is a silicon uh, element to it, to grip the insole as well. And also to grip around this part of the shoe as well. So if we can keep that foot still, you have a better chance of your, your shoe staying on. Uh, and obviously stopping those little movements which can end up in blisters and discomfort. Yeah, micro movements. Yeah, yeah. I've, um, I've been wearing uh, these lovely pink pair and yeah, I was really taken by this. It's, it's quite tacky, the feeling of this um, grip yarn. Uh, it sort of feels a little bit like those silicon grips that you get on cycling shorts yep. to hold the cycle exactly down. Is. Yep. And you get them in some leggings as well. Um, so that, I have used these and these and the Protect insoles and I, I felt like if my foot was moving around, it was moving around in the shoe rather than the sock and the shoe. Yeah. So the sock was sort of with my foot, the sock was just like a extension of my foot and that was, it did feel nice. So I'm going to be trying these more um, in my quest to find the perfect shoe for the late yeah. 50. <laughs> and then we're hopefully in time for that, we'll get you a pair of these to try, which yeah. again will, is, the, is the grip. Uh, again, the sock grip in the insole and this staying inside the shoe as well. Yeah. Um, and there's some exciting developments in socks for CDAS as well, isn't there? Based there, on John Alban. A super athlete, lives in Norway. Um, like all is, the best athletes do. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. He, I think he just finished fifth in the World Championships in Innsbruck in the short, short course. Uh, his partner bought him a pair of Cedar socks. He really liked them. It was a Trail Protect sock like this. Uh, he, he loved them. Uh, he got in contact with Cedar, said he had an idea. Uh, and he talked to Cedar, and the whole idea was to split the big toe to the rest of the toes. A hoof. Oh, a little bit, <laughs> yeah, Thanks, yeah, like a, a yeah, a goat maybe. I don't know, but like um, a mountain goat. Yeah, That's mountain where he's goat. Going with that. So, uh, and Cedas said, "Yes, give it a try," because they, his reasoning was really sound in terms of biomechanics. What he wanted to do was to free the big toe, in order that that would help his propulsion, his balance, and also his feeling. So we'll see. Um, nobody's yeah. done it yet. No. Uh, Nobody's done it and it's become a success, so we'll see. I think other, yeah. a few other brands have tried it, but I think uh, so far so good. He's using them. We've got people along, along with John winning on, uh, on CDAS socks. So. Yeah, Great. And when will these come out then, this sock? And, so the and sock and the insole are coming out next, next spring. Yeah. Uh, and the other good thing about these two models is they're for the, our market in Europe is they're both European made. Oh, that's good. So again, as any brand, we're trying to think a little bit more sustainable. One of the biggest air miles. So factory in Portugal for the socks, Poland for the, uh, for the insoles. Oh, great, so, so a bit more environmentally friendly, thinking along those sustainable lines. Trying to do that, yeah. it's, it's tricky on a lot of these aspects, <laughs> but uh, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're doing that. That might explain the price of the socks then. Yeah, there is a certain price. Uh, there's, there's, there's things in here which are, are um, um, for those geeks on sock construction, it's an in and out construction, so you get the nice smoothness on it the inside. Uh, well. It's a high needle count, so again, for longevity and durability. Uh, yeah, and just a little bit of thought. So no, they're not your uh, three for nine pound uh, <laughs> cotton socks. Yeah, are we allowed to say how much they're going to cost? I think they're, they're going to be about 28 pounds. Pounds. But if you think you're spending 140 on a pair of trail running shoes, yeah. you know, you've got to invest in the whole sock area as well. Yeah. And the insole, how much are insoles generally? The insoles are around about £42 right, for next, okay. next year. So again, this is, it's, you just said there Claire, you're investing in the shoes, but the shoes aren't everything. Um, yeah, equipment can, can, uh, can cost quite a bit, uh, but I think these will last. They'll last longer than your shoes and be able to transfer them between, between shoes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not a cheap sport. No, it's not a cheap sport anymore. It used to be just put a pair of trainers on. <coughs> um, exactly. I think um, because I haven't found my perfect pair of shoes, the next step, because I've tested like over 30 pairs of shoes now over the last year and a half. So my next step is to find the best ish pair of shoes and then now i'm going to experiment with insoles and socks to see what's uh, good for me because i want to run a 50 at the end of july and then like potentially 100 miles and yeah. you can't do that on a you know if you know that that shoe is going to give you a blister after you know eight hours running yeah so. now, i think your, your challenge is the uh, same as for many people mm -hmm. it's frustrating uh, where do you go to to get an array of shoes because there's so many brands that are now 
uh, coming into this market, not just the, the big sports brands, but there's lots of other mm. other brands in here. Uh, they all see it as a, as a, a key market for them now. Um, yeah, it's, it's a challenge. And um, I think what you're finding there is also for different lengths of races, different terrain, you need different shoes. It's hard to have one pair of shoes that will do everything. Yeah, that does it all. Yeah, yeah, you're right there. But yeah, I think these Saucony Exodus Ultra 2s are going to be the shoe of choice for Lakeland 50. And then I'm going to try using these Protect, Sea Dust Protect insoles and some kind of Sea Dust sock. Yeah. Maybe the, the Protect with the, the more cushioning the in there. The Trail Protect, yeah. exactly. With the extra cushioning in there, I think for the extra miles. Um, yeah, again, I, if I look at uh, somebody like uh, John Alban's feet, um, he's, a, he's a super athlete. Um, he, he likes the, the thinness of a sock to get that feeling. Yeah. Um, I personally would go a little bit more for, for comfort. A little bit more and, and I think that. that's what, what you need with longer distances. Yeah. Um, gone are the days, I think, where you will put your, um, I'm going to say this, your, your, your wall shoes on and your, your, <laughs> cotton your cotton socks. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, exactly and, and uh, you'll be happy when you finish it's, it doesn't work that way yeah well these ones certainly look exciting like i've seen the injindi toe socks before that obviously have the five yeah. um loops for your toes to protect against chafing but it's very interesting to think that john has decided right we need to isolate the big toe for more propulsion mm. so that is a really interesting concept yeah. and i'm going to be keen to um yeah to see how well, the world with, takes these when they come out in and spring. The, with your yoga foot you're well placed <laughs> to uh, like to, to try to try those out yeah yeah yeah, yeah claire can amazingly spread her spread her, 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 her toes and big toe from the rest of her toes yeah. really really well apparently it's yoga <laughs> um but no i think all those things but yeah it's, it's trying to what we really want to do is is for sure if you're going to run 50 miles 100 miles 100 kilometers you're going to suffer there's a lot of a uh, lot of time on the feet a lot of strides but um we need to try and add comfort to that as well yeah um, comfort and protection yeah. And lack of movement. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think CDAS might have to do a competition on World Ginger Running YouTube channel yeah. for patrons who are the loyal supporters of the channel. So I think we'll have to, you know, um, get a good prize package going with I'm sure these we can. amazing, yeah. uh, highly priced socks, yeah. and uh, somebody can win. Yeah. Uh, have to buy them. I think a lot of people are interested in this. We were at the um, UTS uh, in Lamberis in, in May, which Claire did the 50, 50k. 50K. Yeah. Um, lots of interest in foot care, which is definitely uh, what people should be looking at. Uh, look after your feet, uh, both before, afterwards, during during the, 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 the run, and you'll, you'll have a, a better time. Um, and it's education, and um, yeah, where can we get these products? More and more products will come out to, uh, to help people enjoy it more. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Pete. No problem. Pleasure. It's been very elucidatory, um, <laughs> if that is a word. <laughs> sure it is. And I am going to look forward to trying out these insoles and just really making my shoe the perfect vehicle it can be to yeah. propel me along those 50 miles in the Lake District this July. Cool. <laughs> cool. Good luck. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>